Hi, I'm Derek Herr with Evolution Wheel, and today we're in Albany, Nebraska, one of our customers' farms. It's the second week of June, and he's made a few passes with his pivot, and he's having issues climbing hills and getting stuck in low spots, especially with silt. He's made about two or three passes with his air-filled tires. He's getting stuck at the top of the hill when the tire's slipping out about 80-90% of the way to the top. He's also getting stuck in some really low silty spots, and it's only going to get worse as we start going through the growing season. On those first few passes, he's putting down about three quarters of an inch of water on each pass. The corn now is just below the waist, thigh height, and it's about to start sucking up a lot of water. So he's going to be really putting on a lot heavier watering program. That's just going to make his traction issues that much worse. So what we did is we came to him with a set of XTs to put onto his pivot. This is a seven tower pivot. We've got them on the end tower, which is generally the hardest for traction and trying to get through low spots. We went with the XT for this application because of the hilly ground, because of the silty traction issue spots. And that XT tire really stands for extra traction or extreme terrain. With the combination of the lugs, the mud shucking technology that we put in this tire and the amount of compression that the tire gets, it's really gonna help him pull through those hard spots through the growing season. Today's just one day, but we're gonna come back every month through the growing season and show you how this tire is performing in those difficult spots. And as it goes through the season, it will show you the track so that you can decide whether the XT tire is the right tire for your pivot and your application on your farm. Okay, so this is one of the problem areas of this field particularly. This is a low silt spot where all the hills drain into pretty much for half the field. You've got hills on both sides and then the length of the pivot, hills on both sides as well, which all drain into one spot and they all come here. The pivot's laying down about an inch of water and that's really gonna make this a silty, mucky mess. Gets even worse in a season where you've got a lot of rain. This is already wet. Then the pivot comes through, puts on an inch of water, and makes it even worse, which is really challenging for the tire to be able to get through all that and then get through the other side, climb the other hill. Really what the XT tire was specifically designed for with the mud shucking technology, with the extra lugs and all the compression that the tire gets, it's really gonna help that tire pull the pivot through a scenario like this. Okay, so the pivot's entering our low spot here with a lot of silty ground. We're at the edge of the watering zone to show you exactly what's going on. Our XT tire is coming through and basically what you see is that, yes, there's a little bit of a ridge in front of the tire, just like you would expect. Having said that, the way that we designed our XT tread pattern is that that ridge is actually getting cut with every tread that goes through. It's cutting the front of that ridge, which is really helping the tire get traction, and that lug is pulling it all the way through, which is gonna help it climb up the next hill. It's not gonna fight that ridge because the tread pattern is taking care of it itself. The other major problem in this field, other than low spots, is high spots, and having that tire be able to climb up those hills. The problem is you get 75 to 90% of the way up the hill, and then it's just the last little bit the tires generally have a problem with. What you really need is a tire that's got A, good lugs for traction, but B, compression so that it can hold the ground and not slip out. The harder the tire is, the easier it is for it to slip. This is the track of the pneumatic tire second tower in on this pivot system. This is the same field that we went through the big silt bottom in. And this is the part of the field where you've got two really steep slopes coming into this drop. It's about 100 foot on both sides. And the pivots just come down the one side of the hill, went through the bottom, and it's about to go up the other side. You can already see that there's a well-established pivot track getting formed here as you go down the hill and into the bottom. We're about mid-June. This part of the field, corn is just above my waist. Other parts is just below my waist. Let's go take a look and compare this track to our XT track in the same field. In comparison to the pneumatic tire, this is our Pivot XT track. As you can see, there's witness marks from the lugs, but it's really not that well defined. You can see the water where the pivot just went through and the pivot's climbing up the hill. This track in comparison to our pneumatic is actually not too bad. I'm actually pretty happy about it given the type of soil. It's a fairly clay soil, which I'm not gonna lie, I've almost gotten on my ass a few times standing in here, but it's a heavier clay content portion of the field, which is generally gonna lead to the tire packing up a bit more or 
you know, a deeper track or more prone to rutting. So to see this type of comparison, I'm pretty happy with it, but we're gonna follow it as we go through the season and really just show you how this track develops in this location. So the pivot's getting to the top of the hill behind me and we're at about the 75%, 80% mark of the way up the hill. This is where the pivot would normally be slipping out. But as you saw, our XT tire was engaged the whole time. If you look at the track, you can see where the lugs were engaging the ground. There was really no slippage or signs of any dirt being flung anywhere else. It's just good engagement the whole way up the hill. This is really what you wanna look for when you're looking for a tire that is climbing hills on a pivot. Okay, so I'm Derek Herr with Evolution Wheel. Stay tuned with this video series specifically for this set of tires. We're going to show you how this set of tires performs throughout the season with multiple videos. And we really want to highlight the performance of this tire in this application. We're doing this on many different fields throughout this season on our XTs and on our standard pivot tires so that we can really show customers what this tire can do. We're really excited to show you. I hope you stay tuned.